Corey, congratulations about for being selected into the Wrestling Hall of Fame, California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Very Thank deserving. You. Thank you, Coach. Um, I'm going to ask you a few questions uh, and uh, about your background. First of all, uh, what individual had the greatest impact on your wrestling career? That would have to be my coach, my high school coach, Steve Sanchez. He was like a father figure to all of us, and I kind of fell in line and followed his his lead. He was he was a man we all looked up to. Yeah, influenced us quite a bit. Uh, who was your wrestling idol or hero growing up? Did you have one? Yeah, I did. I used to follow a amateur wrestling news quite a bit, and I would follow the, the successes of Andre Metzger. I uh, oh. looked up to him. He was my age, but he was, you know, he was a high-level high athlete. I think his senior year. I think he wrestled in the World Championships in San Diego. Yeah. Uh, but I looked up to him. I liked his style of wrestling. Sure. So I looked, you know, and I was really impressed when I saw him wrestle at the U.S. Open about five years ago after du Dupont passed away. Oh. So I didn't have a chance to talk to him, but he was my idol. Yes. What personal attribute contributed most to your success in the sport of wrestling? Mine would be dedication. Um, I made a point of from November to March being dedicated to the team, to myself, and to the sport. And uh, for me, November to March was a four months of sobriety, four months of dedication, four months of training, eating correctly, and just living, living wrestling. Yes. Very good. So the dedication, absolutely. Corey, what is the most outstanding memory you have of your career in the sport of wrestling? The biggest memory I have is all the years of coaching and training kids. I got my team to the podium at the CIF State Championships. We took fourth one year, and it was a, the biggest thrill in the world for the team, for myself, and for a lot of my friends that saw what we were uh, you know, doing over there at College Park High School. My gosh. Yeah. Terrific. Throughout your wrestling career, what is the single most memorable match or event? Well, uh, the most, probably when I first, uh, Casey Strand wrestled for me, and he was a three-time state finalist, and uh, it was the first person I'd ever sat in a corner with the coach at the state championships. And it didn't happen often, but it was yeah. a big moment for all of us. Yes. Casey. What made you get involved with the sport of wrestling? Well, most people probably f found it in PE classes. So as an eighth grader, I moved to California and uh, they had wrestling. I'd never wrestled before. So I won the PE, state, uh, PE championship for period six. And then Coach Thompson and Coach Nelson, they uh, quickly had me try out for the team or show up for the team. And uh, so that's how I got my introduction, eighth grade wow. wrestling in PE. If you had the opportunity to start your career all over again, is there anything you would do different? No, I think maybe I would have moved up north. <laughs> I'd left the Bay Area yeah. and found a small town somewhere by Santa Rosa or further yeah. north. I think that would have been an interesting uh, yeah. lifestyle and just have that small town environment. I think that's what I might have done. Yeah. I've talked about it and uh, I wish I had done it at one point. Finally, what would you like to have people remember about you? Well, I, I'd like people to remember me as a giving person, someone that cared. I was always trying to get kids to join the wrestling. I was always worried about what I could do to make them stay in the sport. Uh, and I was always giving my time and my effort to, to helping a lot of other people. So that's. I want to be remembered as that person that helped a lot of wrestlers and helped people decide to wrestle. Well, you had a heck of a career, and uh, congratulations, and uh, we wish you the best always. Thank you, Coach Abraham. Thank you. Yeah, welcome.